Hey, I'm back! Welcome one and welcome all to my humble abode here in the weird alternate dimension with the flames behind me. It's heaven. Heaven's the one with the flames, right? Of course, this is Donnie. I am uh, the head hot sauce wizard over at dangitdonnie.com. I'm the only hot sauce wizard at dangitdonnie.com. And I'm here with a video that I've seen a lot of people online be interested in. So I'm, I'm pretty excited to bring it to you. Uh, I know lately I've been eating habaneros like every day on the show and I, I get a lot of comments where people are saying like, how did you work up to that? Uh, habaneros are so hot for me right now. Now I know that you know, not everybody eats super hot peppers every single day. Not everybody has an asbestos mouth, but uh, everyone can enjoy spicy food. So I'm excited to bring you this video on how to build your tolerance. So I've got a few different suggestions on how to build your tolerance to capsaicin so you can enjoy the burn and not have to suffer the consequences quite as much. Um, now, the important part is to go gradually, so I'll show you a couple of different ways that you can do that. Uh, but first, I want to say a big shout out to all of my friends out in the Pepper groups on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, everyone from Pepper Freaks, everyone from Heat Seekers, a lot of different grow groups as well. Uh, a lot of great information. If you're just now getting into pepper growing or if you're a seasoned veteran, definitely go search for just hot peppers on like Facebook. You'll see uh, a plethora of groups. A lot of it's the same people. Uh, we post pictures of our pepper plants, uh, sauces, talk about different things. So it's a whole lot of fun. Shout out to everybody out there, including Spicy Hot Boys, who I just re recently ordered some daddle peppers from. Shout out to Craven Capsaicin. Shout out to Bob from Pop Pop and Yeah Yeah on YouTube. Shout out to Capsaicin Cult, who's growing some delicious peppers I can't wait to try. Uh, go check out any of those folks online and uh, follow their pepper journey as well. Um, speaking of pepper journey, before I get into it, into the meat and potatoes, or the heat and potatoes, I should say. Yes. There's, there's no potatoes, I lied. There's no potato. Here are some pictures of the peppers that I've been growing lately. So just take a look at those. Oh yeah. Oh, those are some good looking peppers. Uh-huh. So that's a, a purple boot halokia or jalokia, depending on how you like to pronounce the hard J or the soft J. It's either yogging or jogging. Um, but yeah, I can't wait to try those peppers. A little bit hotter than a habanero by about a little over twice as much. And I'm Looking forward to that. I don't need something that's like 1.5 million Scoville right now. That's a bad idea. You know, I don't think my internal organs would appreciate that very much. So let me get right into it. The first thing that I'm going to show you is a, a, a little a gem of a pepper called the Serrano pepper. Now this is, if you've gotten used to jalapenos and you're looking for the next step up, these peppers, this is going to get you there. Now, this Serrano pepper... These are great. Now, I know you probably can't see it because it's green, you know, but uh, these peppers are phenomenal. Now, they have a nice green crisp taste. It doesn't have like a disgusting taste though. I know a lot of green peppers are just nasty. These honestly, in my opinion, taste a little bit more fruity than a jalapeno. And it almost has that habanero sort of flavor. Serrano peppers are the unsung hero of the pepper world. And in fact, I used quite a few of these peppers in my uh, uh, pineapple on pizza sauce. But here's a, here's a little, a hidden gem. And this is my most exciting thing. If you're looking to build up your heat, one easy way to do that is to just incorporate spicy foods into the everyday foods that you already eat. So I picked this up at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. It's just crunchy cheese curls. Now, it would be pretty messy to put hot sauce inside of this bag to get used to the heat. So what I'm gonna do here is I purchased this powder from a store here in Cincinnati called Jungle Gems, but you can probably pick this up anywhere. It's actually from India. It's a brand called Deep. And it's uh, red chili powder, extra hot. Now the extra hot's important. This is a different variety of pepper. It's gonna be a little bit more spicy, a little more pungent, if you will. And this powder, I think this bag cost me like $2. And it was, it was pretty full whenever I got it. So what we're gonna do, of course, is we're going to add this powder. Here, I better make the hole a little bigger. 
add the powder to the bag. And so what that's going to do is it's going to kick it up a notch and we're making our own flaming Hot Cheetos today is what we're doing. But these are going to be a little spicier. I know I ate some flaming Hot Cheetos yesterday and I was kind of underwhelmed by the heat, you know, since I've been eating habaneros almost every day. There's really no heat there. So what I can do is just add a nice healthy dose of this extra hot, here you can see inside of there, the extra hot red pepper powder. We're just gonna give it a nice shake. You can adjust the heat on your on your flaming hot stuff. So it's, it's got a, a little bit of it. The the actual name brand flaming hot Cheetos have has like garlic and stuff, and that's mostly what I taste. Uh, in fact, once you get your heat tolerance build up, flavors on foods are gonna taste completely different. I'm gonna put some more of that in here. A lot of people don't know this, but whenever you eat spicy food, you don't have to withhold yourself from milk or ice cream or whatever, or cheese, whatever, peanut butter, whatever you wanna to use to make that heat go away. Uh, if it's a little too intolerable, you can do that. As long as your brain has the signal that it's super hot uh, compared to what it's usually used to, it's going to build your tolerance up. So there's been studies done on it. As long as you have eaten it, your body is going to build a tolerance. So if you're looking to build tolerance, you don't have to eat a ghost pepper. You don't have to eat a Carolina Reaper. You know, not all of us have asbestos mouths. We can definitely admire those who do, as we should. Mm. But there's no shame, you know? The pepper community is not supposed to be elitist. You can eat serranos. You can eat chips that you've put your own seasonings on. It'll all get you there, man. It'll all get you to that fiery heaven. Mmm. So, that's one way to do it. Mmm. I recommend this. These taste better. And they got more heat than a flaming Hot Cheeto. Look at that. Look at the phenotype of this Cheeto. Damn. Yep. Don't touch your eyes. Look at that. Mm-hmm. Uh, now, yeah, pepper's supposed to be fun. You know, it's supposed to be a good experience. Now, I'm, I'm feeling the heat build a little bit here. Now, I would say that this is about a jalapeno heat uh, with as much as I've eaten, uh, but it is building. So, if you're not used to hot foods, this would be the way to go. I would go to one of these second. And, uh, you know, just keep, keep doing it. You don't have to, not everything is a challenge. You know what I mean? Not everything has to be a crazy heat challenge. And that's really the message that I'm trying to get across today. Now, yesterday, if you watched the video, you noticed that I did a little bitty experiment here. And uh, I've got these jars. Now this is Habaneros and Everclear. That's all that's in here, Habs and Everclear. It's 190 proof grain alcohol. And what I'm doing is I'm extracting all the capsaicin from these peppers. And we're just gonna give it a nice shake. Now I don't know if you can see how, yeah, that liquid, see how the liquid's getting orange? It's not clear anymore. That means that it's extracting from the peppers. I took a dropper of this yesterday and it was pretty spicy. So I'm excited to see how, the, how well this does. I'll keep, I'll keep you guys updated on it. Um, so once you've mastered Serrano's, once you've mastered the uh, DIY Cheetos, you know, and you just get your tolerance up. Get, get uh, little by little, incrementally, you'll be able to to eat hotter and hotter things. I mean, that's just really how it works. There's no super uh, complicated science to it. There's no super complicated method. Just little by little, increase your tolerance. Just eat slightly hotter things and slightly hotter things. You'll notice that your tolerance goes way up a lot faster than you even expected it to. Uh, then, you know, I would, I would recommend going up to these bad boys. 
you know, these habaneros. Now, habaneros are cheap. You can find them almost anywhere. And they're around 100,000 100, Scoville to 350,000 Scoville. So you're not gonna, you're not gonna hurt yourself too bad. You might have a, a one bad day if you're not used to them. But after that, you know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a testament to it, it, it the heat. The heat uh, doesn't bother you as much anymore. So um, I guess that's really it for your, for today, guys. Thank you so much for joining in. Thanks for following. Go give the NDWA some attention. That's the uh, National Digit Wrestling Association. Right now they're trying to get some funds to get back on cable over in Missouri. So if you're in the Ozarks area and you want to see professional thumb wrestling uh, given by some pretty weird characters, uh, then go ahead and check that out. It's NDWA Thumbs on YouTube. They'll have links and everything that you can do to uh, join their Patreon, help them get to uh, get right back onto cable. So they're looking to get back on onto your TVs. And go over there if you're not already joined in to Dang It Donnie's Cousins. That's a Facebook group where we all talk about peppers and things, and you can search for that as well. I'm going to uh, I'm going to get out of here. I love you guys all. Uh, you're all my cousins. Now, I know we're not technically related, but if you go back far enough, we're all cousins. So we're all cousins in Capsaicus, and thank you guys so much for joining in. I'm Donnie, a.k.a. the Chili Mancer, and uh, I'll see you guys later. I love you.